you guys welcome back to my youtube okay it is currently 9 50 and obviously based on the title of today's video we're gonna do a whole walkthrough of my sunday reset if you follow me on tiktok you know i do those literally all the time over there but i want to do a more in-depth one on youtube you know i actually think i have done one on youtube but it was part of like a weekend vlog i think so it wasn't very in-depth but the whole point of today's video will be the sunday reset okay enough to chat we're gonna get right into it i always start with my bedding because i feel like washing everything and then also drying everything that takes the longest so i like to get it started first and then kind of finish everything in between oh and if you saw my tiktok of me cleaning my dyson vacuum the other day yeah so i i, I don't know i don't know i guess i just wasn't thinking i put the motor heads in the water to soak Luckily, most of them still work, but the main brush head, like the most powerful one that I use like on the carpets upstairs, that one does not work anymore. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I, that's my explanation. I don't have one. I'm just, so I went on the Dyson website and they sell replacement heads. And I was like, oh my gosh, perfect. They're literally all out of stock. Like even the little attachments, like everything, every replacement head's out of stock. So I bought like a doopy dupe off of Amazon and it works like as a vacuum, but it's not anywhere near as powerful or just, yeah, it doesn't work as well, obviously as the original. Other than that though, the vacuum is very clean now. So anyway, on that note, we're gonna head upstairs. We're gonna get those, or we're gonna get all the bedding started and then we'll see where we go from there. So of course I have my morning caffeine. Okay, I just wanna take a little second to talk about a sponsor of today's video, Rocket Money. I have literally needed this for so long. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower bills, and overall just helps you manage your money a lot better. Perfect example for you, I recently found out that I have been paying for so many different subscriptions that I didn't even know about. A lot of them are apps like photo apps, editing apps, there were like a couple game ones. Literally subscriptions from like years ago that I just didn't even know. And some of these were up to like 10 or $20 a month. So I have been paying all that and I literally had no idea. So my point is Rocket Money could have come in handy before this and I'm so glad I found it. So after getting Rocket Money and figuring it all out, I was able to cancel and manage all those subscriptions and I feel so much better. Other than the subscriptions, this app has so much more to offer, especially if you're in the market of like buying a house or like wanting a new car, any like big expense, I would not recommend an app more than this to help you kind of get everything budgeted and like really get your expenses organized rocket money can actually help lower your bills simply by uploading a photo of your bill tapping a few buttons and rocket money will actually negotiate your bills from you from like internet cable phone bills of course you can also set a budget and set up smart saving there are so many things about this app that will help you get all of your finances in order i will be using this all year long and i definitely encourage you to try it out too actually you guys can get a free trial when you sign up for rocket money using my link that link will be down here for you guys click the link in the description to get started for free you can also unlock even more features with premium take control of your finances today go to rocketmoney.com slash kaylee may to get started for free all right once again thank you to rocket money for sponsoring today's video let's get back to it always try to clean with my hair down i always end up putting it up because it's just in the way but here's where i went wrong with my dyson this is the little dupey one i got off amazon okay it looks really similar but it is not anywhere near as powerful it still works like obviously it's still picking up hair on my carpet just not not like the good old dyson so hopefully dyson comes back in stock with those attachment heads because i really need it like i mentioned only that one was the one that didn't work so this little attachment still works and then also the one with like the laser so that's good but i'm gonna use this on the carpet and then this i'm gonna vacuum my like bed i have the soft frame design um it's like a little cloud bed type thing 
but the whole thing's fabric so i always use this little attachment to like vacuum all the dog hair whatever okay so let's vacuum the room and then i'm gonna do the whole bed with this thing and then we're gonna move on to the next task <laughs> This, by the way, is the absolute best glass cleaner that money can buy. I get mine on Amazon, but they sell them at Costco pretty much everywhere. Um, but I love it because it literally, well, one, it smells good. And two, it doesn't leave like a bunch of streaks. Like it's not hard to clean. And it's fun to spray. Hey, no humping. This is the window that the dogs like lay down and look out like when we're not home because they watch us drive away and it's really sad. All of their like nose snot and like just like their nose marks all add up right here. So I have to clean this like at least twice a week. Really perfect timing for me to get down with the upstairs because the washer just got finished. So we're gonna move it all to the dryer and then move downstairs. I actually totally forgot that I have this vacuum. This is the Bissell, I'm not sure the exact name of it, but this is what I had before getting the Dyson because it is so incredibly good on carpet of just sucking up all the dirt and dog hair. Like this is specifically for pet hair, I believe. Um, and it's great, I loved it. I just got the Dyson because this one's a little bigger. It has to be plugged in. And so the Dyson was more convenient. I'm gonna use this and deep vacuum the stairs because it definitely needs it. I have three dogs that all shed. So, so much hair builds up within a week and it is disgusting. There's also so much space in here for everything so you don't have to empty it as often. That's another thing I like about it. But yeah, I did get this off Amazon. It is a little cheaper than the Dyson. So that's linked under the cleaning essentials list. Okay, so we're gonna tackle the stairs and this takes so long. And it definitely makes me like drenched in sweat because of like how much work I actually had to put into like scrubbing each of the steps to get all this stuff out. But that vacuum, I forgot about this vacuum. It literally gets like every speck of dirt, dust, dog hair. So the stairs will feel and look much better. It's all worth it. It's just quite the process. I'm like sweating already just thinking about it. I'm just gonna try my best to use the normal vacuum to do the stairs and then any, like maybe in the crevices, I'll go back in with that little attachment. I'm already out of breath. I feel like it'll just go a lot faster if I just use the normal vacuum. It's just hard to like carry it. And it's so big, which is why we really like the Dyson. I feel like this one is better on carpet for sure. <laughs> back on the stairs, huh? 
Isn't that just disgusting? This is everything it picked up from the stairs. Like you can see all that's like dirt dust and then obviously all of the golden retriever hair. Disgusting. But this vacuum works wonders. It is super good. Okay, time for a little snack break because if not, I'm not gonna have any energy left to do any of this. Riley and I actually got takeout the other night. So it's pad thai and then the curry with rice. It is so good. This rice is like two days old and not very soft. Isn't it like if you microwave it with like a little ice cube? Isn't that what Emily Mariko does to get her rice good? I'll try that because it is very not soft. I'm just gonna do a little one like right in the middle. Mmm, literally so good. I put it on the, I put it on the pad thai too. Heat her up. It is so good. We are going to finish this and then we'll start in the kitchen. Gotta put away the dishes, gotta load the dishes. We're gonna deep clean the sink, vacuum the runner, and then mop the floors. Also, it's 11.50 now. Like, Sunday resets are no joke. They take me like all day. Okay, next I'm gonna clean the stainless steel in the kitchen. So the front part of the sink and then also dishwasher and the fridge. This is a cleaner I use, literally the most basic stainless, stainless steel cleaner there is. like cleaning tasks. I also do some restocking around the house um, during Sunday resets. And our little mini drink fridge is nearly empty. So I just grabbed a couple of the stock from my pantry. So I'm gonna restock the fridge. Normally we do grocery shopping and restock the main fridge as well, but I have not gone grocery shopping yet. Honestly, it's a little late today. So I'll probably do groceries tomorrow. We do have a good amount of drinks that I can get stocked up in here. We love the Alani's. These are the Kim A's. It's like my favorite flavor. These are the Fairlife. 30 gram protein drinks. We get those at Costco. And then I have these strawberry lemon poppy, which if you know me, you know I am obsessed with that flavor. days I just vacuum but Sunday reset extra clean we do vacuum and mop and that's what this is it was actually gifted to me I think like two years ago and I have been using it ever since it vacuums and mops at the same time it's like Tineco, Tineco, don't know how to pronounce it. It comes with like a cleaner and so you put in the water solution and then it vacuums and has like this mop brush head. And then it all collects in the bottom and you just dump it. Super convenient, it's doing them both at the same time.
Okay, last step for the kitchen is wipe down all the counters. Yesterday, I actually went in with a magic eraser and I cleaned all the crevices like of the island, like on the floor, like the floorboards and stuff. I was shocked how much dust can like really build up in there. Um, so I don't need to like wipe down the island the actual island today. But we're gonna clean all the countertops and then we're almost done. We just have the living room and then I'm gonna touch up the bathrooms as well. Also, I'm using the Safely Universal Cleaner. This is my favorite one in the scent Calm. It smells so good. Kitchen is done, time for a little coffee break. We're in the final stretch. <laughs> you can't convince me otherwise though. There is no better feeling than a perfectly clean kitchen. Like this makes me so happy. Okay, let's get in the living room, attack the bathrooms down here, and then we're done. I did hear the dryer stop, so that means all the bedding is done. So after we finish the bathrooms, we'll go make the bed and then we'll be done. It's currently at one o'clock now, so I need to get on with it. I mentioned this in another video, but we do keep blankets wrapped around the bottom cushions especially during like the wet rainy months because if not they'd be literally ruined so i just need to straighten up all the blanket put away all their toys and just just make the couch look a little better and then i'm gonna clean the coffee table we'll vacuum and honestly that's about it for the living room Next up was supposed to be these bathrooms. We have two downstairs, but I kind of deep cleaned them the other day when we had some family over. So there's like nothing for me to even do in here. They're actually already stocked too. And then I cleaned the mirror, the sink, and the toilet. So I'm just gonna call these good because they look good to me. So we're gonna call these good. Well, that was a nice surprise. I totally forgot that I cleaned these the other day. So let's go upstairs and get all that bedding on. You guys that completes our sunday reset the house is nearly spotless it is almost two o'clock now so what do we start at like 10 a.m 11 12 1 2 so that took like four hours i mean it does add time while i'm filming obviously but like i said sunday resets are no joke but yeah let me know if you like this video it was fun to do a little more in-depth one also most everything i use to clean is on my amazon store under the cleaning essentials list of course link down below for you up next we need to go to the grocery store and restock the fridge but that's it for today thank you for watching make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you guys soon love you guys